Hi, this is the third After Effects tutorial of our Adobe After Effects tutorial series. And in this tutorial, we are going to look that how can we create a simple light sweep effect or a glint effect in Adobe After Effects. So first we will preview it. This looks effective and elegant effect and it is very simple to create. So let's see then how can we create it. First of all, as always, you need to go to composition and create a new composition. You can name it anything. I'm going to name it the text light sweep effect. Now, uh, make sure that the frame rate is at least 30 frames per second and the duration of 5 seconds is good. Now click OK. First of all, as the drill, you know, we have to add a background layer. So right click and go to new. Now go to solid and name it as BG. Now whatever the background color is shown here, it could be anything. We do not need to focus on this at this point in time and hit OK. The next thing we are going to do is add a radial gradient on this background layer. So go to effects and presets and type in gradient. You will find an option of gradient ramp within generate. So apply it on your background layer. Now change the ramp shape to radial ramp and go to toolbar, click on this pan behind or the anchor point tool and bring this anchor point to the center of the screen. Now Whatever the colors that you like, you can choose them. I'm going to choose a dark gray color for the outside, whose hexadecimal value is this, and a light gray color for the inside, with this hexadecimal value, and click OK. Now, if you are happy, then it's okay otherwise you can just swap the colors which I'm going to do and just increase the blend with origin value to 24% now uh, you can also increase the end of the ramp a little bit to around 1287 now uh, you need to lock your background layer the next thing we are going to do is add a text layer. So right click, go to new and add a text layer. Now you can type in any text that you want. I'm typing your text. Now this is the text that I have typed and I have adjusted this text with two spaces after the your. Now I have typed your text and um, you can arrange your text as per your wish. The font I'm using is Vivaldi. The download link of this font will be shared in the description. And the size is 269 pixels. The next thing I'm going to do is just increase its width a little bit to around 10 pixels is good. Then to begin with the animation, we first need to create a duplicate of this layer. To do this, you need to select your text layer and click Ctrl D. Now this will create a duplicate layer of your text. Then we need to add a light sweep effect in our text. For that, we are going to add a new solid layer. So right click, go to new and add a solid layer. Alternatively, 
you can also go to layer over here and go to new here you will find the same options and click solid then rename it as light sweep and change its color to pure white with a hexadecimal value as this then click ok and again ok now bring this layer between your two text layers and change its dimensions that is you have to decrease it in width the width that you select will be the width of your glint or the light sweep layer that we are creating so this much width is good to know the width of your layer just select your layer and hit s on your keyboard now the x coordinate is 1.3 and the y coordinate is 100%. That means the width of this layer is reduced to 1.3 of what was its original width. Next, we want a slightly rotating layer. So go to the toolbar and select the rotation tool. Now you need to rotate your layer a little bit. This much is okay. Now you want to see the rotation angle. So make sure that your light sweep layer is selected and hit R on the keyboard to bring up the rotation. 29.7 degree is the rotation angle of this layer. Then using the selection tool, bring it to a particular position. This will be the starting point of our layer. Now we have to animate the position from this to a final position which will be somewhat here. The initial position is this. So we will go a few frames forward in time. Around 5 frames is ok. Then while your layer is selected, hit P to bring up the position value. Now keyframe it. Move forward in time around 20 frames and change the position to a final position. Now this is the uh, change in the position of this light sweep layer. Hit U to bring up the keyframes and select both of them and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Now the next thing we want to do is create a light sweep layer. This is showing a very hard boundary that we do not want. We want a soft boundary. So that we need to go to effects and presets and search for an effect called fast blur. You will find it in blur and sharpen. Alternatively, you can also go to effect in the menu bar. But before that, you need to select your layer, then go to effect in the menu bar. Here you will find the different options, the different categories of the effects that are present. So go to blur and sharpen and select fast blur. If you don't want to remember so much steps, then you can just only go to effects and presets and search for fast blur. You will find it here. Just apply it on the light sweep layer. Now change the value of blurriness to around 900. The next thing we are going to do is change the track mat of your light sweep layer to alpha mat your text to. If you don't find this track mat over here, you can go to toggle switches slash modes option and click on it and you will find it again. If this thing is displayed, then you can just click on toggle switches and modes option and you will find your track mat option over here. Just change it to alpha mat. Now let's see what we have created so far. So our text animation is almost complete, but it is moving very fast. Move it a little bit slow. Go to your light sweep layer and hit U. Then increase the distance between these two keyframes. 
and change the position of the second keyframe to around one second. Increase its display area a little bit. Go to the first frame and play. This is the light sweep effect or the glint effect that we have created. Now you may have noticed that my resolution is changed to third over here. Now I'm going to change it to full and then preview it. So this is the light sweep effect or the glint effect that we have created in Adobe After Effects. I hope you all are enjoying this Adobe After Effects tutorials. We will meet you with the next tutorial soon. Till then, goodbye.